I like the image of the shepherd with the sheep here on the wall at the office of the Princeton Avenue Christian Church. And it reminds us about how Jesus cares for us as his sheep, as the sheep of his pasture. And that is the theme of our Psalm 39, uh, 79 as we look today into God's word. There's a certain exaggeration that takes place here as the sheep are smiling. And of course, the poster is made for children of all ages to enjoy. Shepherds in the ancient world actually uh, had a very difficult job where they laid their life on the line. And that doesn't quite come through in the poster, uh, which just shows a happy time. David, as shepherd, fought both the lion and a bear with his bare hands and killed them uh, in order to protect sheep. Being a shepherd was a really difficult job, involved hardship and care for the sheep and sacrifice. The ancient Israelites really understood that they were the sheep of his pasture, of the Lord's pasture. So when the temple was destroyed, when the enemies of the Lord came against and wiped out ancient Israel and Jerusalem, the psalmist in Psalm, 1, in Psalm 79 had a very difficult time understanding this and called out for God's justice, his vindication, and reminded the Lord, of course, that we are the sheep of your pasture. So it's a little difficult. Is, is the Lord uh, indicted here? Or is he called into question? Are you really our shepherd since we are your sheep, since you've allowed all this to happen? Or is he saying, well, all this has happened, but we're still the sheep of your pasture. We're still going to trust. We don't, don't know exactly the full inflection of Psalm 79 at the end. But there is call for justice. And a shepherd gave justice, righteousness, by protecting the sheep. We're allowed to pray for righteousness. Not that we uh, kill or slay our enemies, but the Lord in his own time gives righteousness and justice. I think the end of Psalm 79, after we get through the horror and the bloodshed of what has happened, really kind of tells it for us that we can trust in the Lord's righteousness. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nations say, Where is their God? Before our eyes make known among the nations that you avenge the outpoured blood of your servants. And he continues down here. Uh, then we, your people, the sheep of your pasture, will praise you forever from generation to generation. We will recount your praise. Well, the psalmist goes in for even more graphic description and asks for the enemies to be paid back seven times. But what does Jesus say? And uh, not uh, forgive, not seven times, but 70 times seven. So Jesus brings us into an even greater pasture, the pasture of forgiveness and allowing us to, allow, uh, allowing us to be confident that the sheep will have their righteousness because of Jesus Christ, and he will make all things right, if it indeed it is at the last day. He will still make things right. Israel went through difficult times. We go through difficult times. But we have to wait, and we have to trust, and we have to remain sheep. But we are sheep of his pasture in his care. Find your sweet pasture in the Lord's care today and trust in him in, and just be blessed in Jesus' name.